SensoryDigest.com presents Scooter Board Bungee Interventions, presented by Alexander Lo Piccolo and Christopher Goodman. Children and patients must be supervised at all times to avoid injury. We recommend using a helmet and never stand on a scooter board. In today's presentation, we will be demonstrating just a few of the many ways to use a scooter board bungee rope and minimal space to provide multiple and varied interventions. We recommend using a helmet at all times. Completion of these exercises, activities and games should be done under supervision at all times. And consultation may be needed prior to starting a bungee scooter board program to determine benefit and appropriate setup. Proceed with caution and failure to practice sound clinical judgment may result in injury Thank you for joining us today. We will first discuss linear motion in supine flexion. Have patient lie down in supine position with sacrum on low end of the scooter board. Lay back with knees flexed, feet elevated, and neck flexed. Then patient places hands wider than shoulder width apart and pulls and pushes bungee rope to propel self. Notice how Alex is pulling to his knees slightly behind his head and back again. The therapeutic value of this exercise is to promote and increase shoulder scapular stability, strength and range of motion, strengthening core muscles for improved supine flexion, improving body spatial awareness, hand arch development, increasing grip strength, improving bilateral rhythmic coordination, and improves neck control and neck strength. To adapt this activity for the just right challenge, downgrade by using a wedge to assist the patient with forward flexion and head control. Have patient place feet and or head on the board. Increase the amount of verbal cues such as heave ho, push pull. You can sing a song for rhythm. The therapist can physically demonstrate or physically assist the patient by pushing and pulling on the bungee rope to help them propel themselves forward and backwards. It's time for a few games. Playing a game of 10 little monkeys, patient lies in supine flexion parallel or under the bungee rope. Towards one side, place the monkeys and retrieve each monkey and return to the starting point with a hand over hand technique until all monkeys have been rescued. The therapeutic value of this is to promote and increase reciprocal coordination, midline awareness, and incorporating both the arms and legs. To downgrade this game for a just right challenge, make the distance shorter, guiding the patient hand over hand assist, or place two different color sweatbands on their wrists to help them with left and right, such as blue hand, now red hand, blue hand, now red hand. Balloon games. This can be played in supine or prone position. In the supine, the patient will kick the balloon that is suspended from the ceiling approximately two to two and a half feet off the floor. Continue and repeat. Timing is key. Therapeutic value is working on timing and sequencing in space foot-eye coordination, and bilateral coordination of legs to assist with hopping. Now it's time for a high level game, blast off challenge. Patient kicks off the wall, propels themselves to the bungee rope, catching and pushing back to the wall and repeating. The challenge here is timing, position and body in space, and spatial awareness to be able to catch the rope and propel self back and forth to the wall. Vestibular activation, it's not all about the speed. Now it's time to talk about the vestibular system. When the patient's head is in the midline or flex position, you are stimulating the lateral canals. To stimulate the posterior canals, tilt the head back and rotate 45 degrees and hold this static position for 10 seconds while looking at a visual target. Then pull on bungee, with head in midline and now rotate to the other side at a 45 degree angle and hold this static position while looking at a visual target for 10 seconds. The length of time in each position will depend on the age of the child as well as the amount of repetitions that can be completed. Now let's take a look at prone position. 
Linear prone. Have the patient lie down and prone with the trunk on board and arms and legs extended. Place hands wider than shoulder width apart. The patient will push and pull the bungee with fluid motion without fixing at their trunk. The therapeutic value here is promoting an increasing strength and stabilizing prone extension posture, activation of the vestibular system for balance, and lessening gravitational insecurity. To adapt this activity for the Just Right Challenge, downgrade by using a longer scooter board, assist the patient with pushing and pulling on the bungee rope, and increasing verbal cues, or singing a song for rhythm, counting, heave ho, or other adaptations can be added and changed as needed for the level of your patient. Use your clinical judgment to discern what is best for your patient. To adapt this activity further, a wedge can be placed under the patient's trunk to promote further extension, as well as helping with a longer scooter board to stabilize the entire body. Notice as Alex is pushing and pulling through with the bungee rope, the cord is coming to his chest, not his throat, lessening injury as well as fear that this activity may cause. The addition of the wedge helps with keeping the bungee away from the face and allows the child freedom of motion. To help keep kids engaged in the prone position, using their favorite stuffed animal or toy will help to motivate and continue the exercise. This is key in keeping kids engaged and motivated in a challenging position. When in prone and the head is in midline, you are stimulating the lateral canals. To stimulate the anterior canals on the right side, look down and to the left with the head tilt at 45 degrees. To assist with this, place visual stimulus on the floor, stickers, pictures, or toys. To stimulate the left anterior canal, tilt the head at 45 degree angle and look down and to the right. Again, the length of holding each position can vary from 10 seconds to 2 on the age of the child and where they are with their vestibular system. Notice we are demonstrating for you a diagonal pattern in where you are pushing and pulling looking at two different areas. You can do this with both stimulus in front or in back or in an X pattern. Be careful with the vestibular system because you can cause great fear in a child that is not ready for these activities. Prone extension games and activities. Lateral flexion. Patient lies in prone on scooter and pushes with one hand while pulling with the other and shifting hips and feet towards the lateral pulling hand. The patient's feet will touch one side of the rope and then the opposite side. Therapeutic value of this activity is promoting and increasing strength of the oblique muscles, core and back extensors, improves motor planning skills, bilateral coordination, shoulder strength, hip and core control, and increasing stabilizing muscle strength. Blast off challenge. Use caution with this activity. Alex will now demonstrate for us the blast off challenge in prone. Please be careful. Watch your children closely as so they do not clothesline themselves. This is a higher level activity only and should be only used with those clients that are ready, skilled, and have the coordination to do so without hurting themselves. Short kneel position. Patient sits in the short kneel with feet under their bottom, not a W, sit centered in the middle of the scooter board, pushing and pulling on the rope in a smooth manner. Therapeutic value promotes and increases core strength and shoulder stability, hand arch development and hand strength, as well as balance and timing. To adapt this activity to the just right challenge, Give max verbal cues, push slow and low. Use a larger or longer scooter board. Or assist the patient with pushing and pulling on the bungee rope. 
The patient will push and pull bungee rope well in short kneel. Pushing the bungee backwards and propelling themselves, they will use trunk rotation, reach for an object, and as they pull themselves forward, throw at the tower, trying as many times as it takes to knock the objects off the tower to succeed. The therapeutic value of this activity is to promote and increase timing and space, multi-step sequencing, higher level motor planning and stability. To downgrade this activity, move the target closer, place objects on the floor, or place objects on the scooter board so the child has multiple options to throw. The Freestyle Challenge. The therapist will put on upbeat music or the child's favorite music to use for creative movement to perform while on the scooter board. As you can see, Alex is using multiple walls, multiple rotations, and creating as he goes. Notice that this activity requires high level balance and should not be tried in the beginning stages of a scooter board bungee program. Be careful and remove all objects. Have fun, but be safe while doing it. Now we will move on to crisscross seated position. Driving with the partner. The patient in the front will sit with a tailor sit while the friend in the back will use a short kneel. Friend in the front is driving, pushing and pulling, trying to maintain constant motion, while the friend in the back may assist or just enjoy the ride. Spin and stop. The patient sits on the scooter board and will spin in a rotary motion for one revolution, stopping by using both hands and then performs the same motion in a counter rotary motion. Repeat multiple times. Rock climbing. The patient will face parallel to the bungee on one end. They perform a hand over hand technique, pulling motion to propel self to the other end and retrieve a rock and return to the opposite side and put it in a bucket. And repeat. Now on to supine using feet. Therapist dons ankle straps onto patient and fastens them on tight while seated. Therapist then connects carabiners to the bungee cord. The patient then lies in supine and positions self in a total flexed or neck supine hips knees and then extends out and propels self in a linear motion. The therapeutic value to promote and increase core strength, stability and control, and bilateral coordination. To adapt this activity to the just right challenge, downgrade the activity by placing a wedge underneath the patient to assist with the flexion position, as well as the therapist may grab the scooter to help slingshot the patient or grab the rope to push and pull to assist the patient with assuming a total flexion and extension pattern. Playing catch, the patient goes into supine flexion and the therapist will throw the ball over the bungee, having the patient catch and throw back and repeat. Common mistakes to avoid. Here are just a few. W sit. Anterior view W sit. Hands too close together. No thumb wrap. No thumb wrap, anterior view. Too much forward flexion will lead to clotheslining. Overextension and prone will lead to injury. Not properly positioned on scooter. Dragging the head on the floor and poor body alignment in prone.